Um, I got this metal polish, which I use to wipe onto the towel, or rag, really, really fine rag, and then I wipe the iPod, all the tiny scratches off, and then after I do that, I take sandpaper, this is 320p sandpaper, which is really rough, and then I sand it down with 1000p sandpaper to get rid of those scratches that I've used with the 320p. Then I get 1200p. These, this really fine sandpaper to get rid of all those scratches that I made with the 1000. After that, I probably either use the polisher or some Windex to get off all the extra stuff that might scratch it when I'm buffing it or and or polishing it. And then I wipe it down and I have this drill press over here which I use to it spins at here are the speeds uh, spindle speeds I have it set at, actually I really don't know what it's set at but it doesn't have to be fast but fast enough that it can actually remove it that spins as so I have my buffer and then when it spins I put that on it so the buffer gets added to that. Buffer's already on it, but it's black since I've used it. And once I add, uh, once I've used this enough, I use this to take off all the excess metal slash buffer that is dried out and used too much. When it's spinning, I put this on, but I'm careful to put it like this, so I don't lose. There's not too much traction and it shoots out. That happened to me before and uh, yeah and then once I'm done using this one I change it out use this little tip change it out use this one much much better it's newer too and that's how I get all the scratches engravings and other stuff off mm. that's it